What up, what up, what up, y'all? Another day, another dollar. Now, I got a lot to talk about, but the main thing I want to talk about, I seen the best shit ever. The best shit ever. I respect the Gucci and Jeezy situation. They squashed their beef. I respect it. They did it peacefully. Nobody got harmed, etc. Seen French and Jimmy squash they beef. It's history, baby. It's history. 2020 was history. If you take it back a few years before that, Fat Joe and 50 squash they beef. It's history for hip hop, y'all. But this is the main thing for hip hop. This history right here. And this history should go, and, and this is Philadelphia history. And I'm happy it happened. Thank you, thank you. May it lost a pen on what Allah had mercy upon every brother's soul, bro. And I'm happy about that. But Oskino and Beanie Siegel settled their differences. They squashed their beef. I'm happy about it. The city up one. You the best rappers in the world, baby. But the city up one, man. And like, like yo, these are my favorite rappers, man. You know? Like... Damn. Now I mean history is made again, baby. The property, baby. State motherfucking property made history the fuck again, bro. They settled their differences, they squashed their beef. I respect that. You know, that's my click, man. That's my motherfucking click, bro. Nobody can't tell me nothing. I love the locks. That that was the best battle in history. In hip hop history. D Block versus Rockefeller. The best battle in history. See, y'all niggas keep talking this takeover and ether stuff. Yes. Ether was more like clowning somebody. And the takeover just was facts. You ask me, I like both of them, but I think Hove won. No. You ask me, Jay Z won. Jay Z won that motherfucking battle. Hands down. Like, takeover, like, takeover. Like, this is facts. So you can't come with facts, whatever, whatever. It is what it is. But then you know when kissing them niggas stepped up. The prop stepped up, man. The prop was there, baby. Like that shit was different, man. New York was in a frenzy once them niggas hit that hot 9-7, man. You know, and Nori said it. You know, shout out to my nigga N.O. You know, this live shit. You understand? Because it was like, damn, like, yo, them niggas really went on. That hot 9-7, I remember that shit like it was yesterday, bro. When they did that shit, the city was on fire, man. The city was the fuck on fire. That's when everything was dimes, no nicks. You understand? The city was the fuck on fire, man. And I loved it. I loved it. But to see them two brothers squash their differences and settle their differences is is a beautiful day in the hip hop scene in Philadelphia, man. It's a fucking beautiful day in the hip hop scene in Philadelphia. Now, mind you, like I say, I'm an up and coming new artist. But man, like these are niggas, I want to get a. I want I, I want features for it. What? You understand? No, I I get solo individual features, but I, I like Louis One Three Feature State Property, and I'ma hold my fucking own. I'm trying to tell you, I'm the hottest freaking nigga you ever going here. P.I.P. to the late great great big pun. I'ma give Fat Joe his flowers. I'ma give P.D. Crack his flowers, and any Spanish nigga flowers. But at the end of the day, Philadelphia got the best Spanish rapper in the motherfucking world, yo. And his hands down. And if you don't believe me, all you got to do is listen to me. Once you listen to me, you become a fan. You know? My whole, like, like me growing up, that's all I want to do. I, I just want people to listen to me. Once you listen to me, I got you. You know, I always wanted to perform in front of 70,000 people. You know? Yes, I like the money to change my family lives. But, you know, I, I like this, you know... This is a dream for everybody. Everybody have a motherfucking dream. You know, but you got to chase your dream, you know. It's your shit just not going to fall on your lap, man. You got to go get it, man. You know, you technology is so easy right now. You can sit on your ass and just network. Just press a button. Network, 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 network. Just by pressing the button from your couch, from your workplace, from your bedroom, your bathroom, etc. You understand? Like, for instance, right now, I just press a button. I'm recording. I'm talking to y'all. I'm giving y'all my opinion, you know? Um, you know, this is my first time doing this shit, you know? I'm gaining followers, I'm gaining subscribers, and I love it, you know? I like to get up there more, you know? 
If I can make revenue off it, I ain't gonna lie, fuck it. I'm, I make revenue off it. You know, it's like a side gig, but you gotta know how to hustle, man. And that's everybody ain't got the hustle in them, which means is everybody is not a fucking boss. Right here, you see everybody is not a boss. I mean, and and that and that's what's sad about this generation. It's too many chiefs, no Indians. Everybody want to be number one. Nobody want to play number two. You understand? You got to be a shooting guard. You understand? But everybody that played the number two, these niggas want to push the point. The niggas played the three spot. These niggas want to push the point. Nigga played the four. For instance, you see, these niggas got point centers out here. So you can tell the generation is different. And you just look at basketball. The big men not even dominating. They're not even dominating no more. You know? That's what I'm saying. Shaq, Shaq was the biggest fucking, the best big man in the fucking world. You understand? And Shaq Diesel, nigga, that's hands down. Hands down, Shaq was the best center in the fucking world until this day. And that's the hump I give, I, I give Hakeem. You know, I, I like, 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 like Kareem. No, that was before my time. I'm just talking about my time. You know, I'm talking about my time. And when I seen them niggas, ain't do what Shaq did. And you know, the dream, Hakeem, Hakeem, the dream was the shit. You understand? But if Joel B take from both of them and apply it to his game, it's over. Because you pushing the point center shit. But once you dominate as a big man, it's over. You know? No, I love my city, man. I love my city. And I'm glad the Philadelphia hip-hop beef is back. Like, like the unity is coming. It's coming, and I love it. You know, I respect what um Johnny Johnny Mac from the Philly First 48 doing. And I respect how he hopped out of Shady Car fast. You understand? Because he peeped the shit like, nope. Like, nigga, you all the way the fuck over there. You understand? I'm all the way the fuck over there. I got to deal with these niggas. Not you, pimp. You understand? Ain't no love laws, but nigga, every time I come on here, you want to make this shit about them. And then when the topic is not about them no more, how you going to build? You know? You know, everybody like negativity. You know, but at the end of the day, man, fuck ne negativity. Let's get this dollar. Let's get this money. You feel me? Let's get this money. And it starts within ourselves. You know? The Prophet Muhammad, the Rasul of Islam, stated that... You got to fight your head within yourself. Once you can conquer that and fight that and beat that, then you can do other things in life. You know? But, man, it's life, man. I'm, I'm, I'm happy for Philadelphia. I'm Really, I'm happy for my motherfucking self. I'm happy for the city of Philadelphia and our hip-hop scene, but I'm happy for myself because I'm like, damn, the best group back again. You understand? You ask me my best groups in the mainstream, I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to give you my top five groups of all time. The Locks. Mob D. CNN. State Property. See, I'm saying mainstream, so... You already know EA getting it. Hands down. They getting it. Figures getting it. And that's hands down. You understand? Them motherfuckers was way ahead of their fucking time, yo. Like I said, figures for life would have dropped them cash money would have been a whole different outcome. It would have been a whole different outcome. Or if they would have dropped with Star Trek, Neptune. Like, if, instead of Philly Most Wanted dropping their album, the figures would have dropped that over, would have got signed over there and dropped that shit over there, then Philly, Philly Most Wanted would have came after. It would have been over. It would have been the fuck over. No, but we was Rockefeller niggas, you understand? We was signed to Brooklyn, man, and, and, and it, it was nothing like it, man. I was around them days. It was nothing fucking like it, nigga. It was nothing to fuck like it, you understand? Hands down, it was nothing like it, man. And times change now, you know? Times change, but you know? Shit gonna get greater. Like I said, it get greater later, man. It get greater later, man. But you know, like I said, I'm happy for myself. I'm happy for the hip-hop scene in Philadelphia. You know, I'm happy for hip-hop in general. You know, like I said, I'm up and coming new artist, and I'm willing to work with these brothers, man. I'm willing to work with these brothers, man. This motherfucking ball spot still ain't grow back, man. How the fuck your hair hating on you, man? This some nut ass shit. My motherfucking scout hating on my good hair, motherfucker. Man, I got ball spot. I gotta get some roll game for this shit. <laughs> or some bozzy, y'all. <laughs> some motherfucking bozzy right there. The fuck they talking about, nigga. I'm around. I'm the fucking around, baby. You know. You know. But, um, like I say, like, share, subscribe. You know, tune in, man. You know, I'm cooking up. I'm cooking up, y'all. I'm cooking up. I'm working on the, uh, I'm, I'm working on a documentary. 
I'm thinking what I, I, I'm figuring out a name. I got a name in my head, but I don't want to say it because I'm from the city of Philadelphia. But nine times out of ten, I probably go with that name. And when I go with that name, I, 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 like I said, I'm gonna have to drop 62 grams, and not unless that judge drop like four songs and, and, and put 62 grams out. But I, 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 I I'm, I'm making something happen. Like I said, I'm working, and I promise y'all. By the second quarter, y'all gonna get this. And this shit, man, hands down, man, this shit crazy. It's crazy. Like I said, I, I'm gonna go fuck with United Masters right now for the 62 gram situation. Mixtape, me EP, for the 62 gram EP. And I'm, um, I'm gonna upload some more content, you know, through Distro Kids. Probably give them another, like, 30, 40 songs. You know what I mean? It's old to me, but it's going to be new to y'all, you know. I'm just going to let y'all know how it was. You know, I ain't going to put no best of CD out there. So, I'm an, I, I'm, I'm going to figure out a, a, a title and I'm going to put it out there. You know, it, it was going to be like the best of me. The best of Louis 1-3. But it's going to be called a different name. I'm going to do that. And I'm giving y'all heads up. Because I ain't going to cheat y'all. You understand? Because I can't cheat myself. I made all this music. And for me to get it out there, nobody ain't here. I gotta, I'm, I'm, I'm going to put it out now, you know. So this is the early stages of my career. My early stages of my career, I, I, I got one, two, probably three albums nobody never heard of. You know, I got the Mafioso, Volume 1, um, Life is Time, Time is Valuable, and Respect or Get Disrespected. You know, but I, I, I can get respect or get disrespected and I'm going to put it up. And the Clartel, I could put the Clartel together and put it up, but I'm gonna make something happen, man. I'm gonna put it together, you know. The Clartel, I'm gonna be real. This is some 2010 shit, man. I just brought the mixtape feeling back, like the, like, like the Kid Capris, like the SNS, like, like, like the DJ Clue, DJ Wookie, DJ Envy, DJ Cosmic Strictly, um, DJ Cosmic Cash, you know. DJ Funk Master Flex, you no know, dropping bombs all day. Like I brought back that type of energy, and this was 2010. But I'm I'm still uploading, putting this shit out. You know, um, nine times out of ten, the niggas featured on there. Majority of them did. Some locked up. Uh, some just got you know some some niggas snow got snatched in the belly of the beast. Man, these niggas out here fiend out. You understand? But like I said, I'ma drop it. You know, and I'm talking, man. I'm talking heavy, man. It's me, man. I always been like this, man. I'm giving you my life. I did the time for it, so I can talk about it now. You hear me? Dollar, we gonna ball on these niggas, middle fingers to these suckers. No, just get at me, man. It's all I can tell a motherfucker. Just get at me, man. You know, dollar.